Hey guys, we're going to work on one and two step equations today. So just a refresher from Algebra 1. Um, one step equations, first of all, you always do the opposite of what's being done. In other words, that's called the inverse operation. So in this first problem, we are adding 12 to that M. So to make it go away from the M, you do the opposite, which is subtracting. And whatever you do to one side, you always do the other. But if you're kind of confused about the side, your equals always splits up your sides. So we have to subtract 12 on this side as well. And then a positive 12 minus 12 gives us 0, so that cancels out. Your M gets brought down. And then 10 minus 12 is negative 2, so that is our answer. For number 2, our variable is on the right-hand side. It's still the same process, um, but just keep in mind we're always moving stuff away from the variable. So you don't want to do the opposite here, which would be to add 2 to both sides, because that doesn't help us get stuff away from the variable. We want to move our 9 away from the variable. So since it's subtracting 9, we're going to add 9 to both sides. These give us 0, and then negative 2 plus 9 is 7. So G is 7, and that's our answer. On number 3, whenever you have a number by a variable, that's always multiplying. So the opposite would be to divide. So we're going to divide by negative 7. We're going to do it on both sides. This actually gives us 1, negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1, which leaves us with just 1y or y. And then negative 91 divided by a negative 7 is a positive 13. This one is dividing by 9. Yes, it's a fraction, but in high school, fractions are just division. So we're dividing by 9. The opposite would be to multiply both sides by 9. So a 9 divided by a 9 is 1, which gives us just 1a. And then negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. Now in this next section, we're dealing with fractions. So to get rid of a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal, which just means you flip it around. So to get rid of 2 thirds, we multiply by its reciprocal. So you flip it upside down. So it'll be multiplying by 3 over 2 on both sides. Remember, you, whatever you do to one, you've always got to do the other. What happens is this left side will end up giving us 6 over 6, which is just 1, because 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 divided by 6 is 1, which leaves us with just x. And then when you multiply fractions, you always multiply the whole number in the numerator. So that'll give us 30 and keep the denominator. And then 30 divided by 2 is 15. Again, with 4 ninths, we're going to flip it. These cancel. Leaves us with just W. Negative 8 times 9 would be a negative 72 divided by 4. And then negative 72 divided by 4 is negative 18. Feel free to use a calculator if it helps you. Um, there should be links to various calculators you could use um, on Schoology or on our syllabus. Again, we're going to flip it, and this one is negative, so make sure that you multiply by a negative 5 over 6. So negative 5 over 6. These cancel. You're left with just K. 12 times a negative 5 is negative 60 over 6, which ends up giving us negative 10. Again, we're dealing with another negative, so we're going to do negative 2 over 1. Negative 2 over 1. 
These cancel, the negatives cancel to give us a positive M, which is what we need. Negative nine times a negative two is a positive 18. And don't forget the one in the denominator, which means that M is 18. All right, in this next one, um, these are the steps that we do for two steps equations, two step equations. You always find, undo your adding or subtracting first and then you undo your multiplic multiplication or division. Um, and it's always done in that order. Do not try to multiply or divide first. You will absolutely get the wrong answer. Always deal with the addition or subtraction first. So here are my two sides. Find your variable, because our goal is to always get stuff away from that variable. And we're gonna deal with the addition or subtraction first, which means what we're focusing right now on is this plus eight, so we need to undo plus eight by subtracting eight to both sides. This gives me zero, so I just bring down my six X. 50 minus eight is 42. Now we have the multiplication and we need to undo the multiplication. So to undo that, we divide both sides by six. This leaves us with just one X, because six divided by six is one, and then 42 divided by six is seven. On our next one, these are our two sides. Our variable is here. We wanna move things away from it. Look for the addition or subtraction first. So this is our subtraction. So we're gonna do the opposite, which means we're going to add five to both sides. These give me zero, bring my two in down, and 11 plus five is 16. Now we have a multiplication of two, which means we need to divide both sides by two. These cancel to give me just one n, or n by itself, and then 16 divided by two is eight. On our next one, my variable is here. So look for the addition or subtraction first. We have subtraction. So we need to undo that minus seven. So we're gonna add seven to both sides. Negative seven plus seven will cancel and give me zero. So we're just left with X divided by two on the left. And then nine plus seven is 16. Now we have a division that we need to undo. So we're going to multiply by two on both sides to get rid of the division. Because this just is basically two divided by two, which is one or one X, which just leaves us X. And then 16 times two is 32. The last one, we have our variable here. Look for the addition or subtraction first. And since we have adding one, we want to subtract one from both sides. So minus one, minus one. This will give me zero. On the left, I'm left with negative one third M. And then negative seven minus one is negative eight. Please make sure to use a calculator if you have trouble with all the negatives and adding of those. We want to multiply both sides by its reciprocal, which is a negative 3 over 1. The negative and the negative gives me a positive, and 3 divided by 3 is just 1, or 1m. Negative 8 times a negative 3 is positive 24. Don't forget it's over 1, which means that m is 24. And that's the end of our notes.